Hey guys, if you're unknowingly drinking certain dangerous chemicals that are in plastic water bottles, it's important that you pay attention in this video because not only are we learning about the chemicals that accidentally leach into water, we're also learning about the harmful effects of them, not just their potential for causing cancer, but their potential to interrupt endocrine hormone signaling, and that includes the potential to cause obesity and increase the risk of your offspring having obesity and or cancer. For example, exposure to certain chemicals has been associated with an increased risk of leukemia, and one of the biggest culprits is benzene, which is a colorless, flammable liquid that is commonly used in the production of plastics, synthetic fibers, and other industrial products. It's also a component of gasoline and is found in cigarette smoke. Now, exposure to high levels of benzene can cause damage to the bone marrow, leading to genetic mutations in those cells and subsequent development of leukemia. The risk of leukemia increases with the duration and the level of exposure to that benzene molecule. Now, benzene can be present in some plastics, including polycarbonate plastics and polyethylene terphthalate plastics, or PET. However, the levels of benzene in plastic bottles are generally very low, and it's unlikely that benzene would leach from that plastic bottle and contaminate water at levels that would pose a health risk to humans. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has set a maximum contaminate level, MCL, for benzene in drinking water of 0.005 milligrams per liter or five parts per billion. Now this level is set to protect human health from the potential harmful effects of benzene exposure, such as cancer and other health issues. According to the FDA, which regulates the safety of bottled water in the United States, the levels of benzene in plastic bottles are generally well below the MCL that's set by the EPA. In fact, the FDA has set a limit for five parts per billion for benzene in bottled water, which is exactly the same that the EPA's MCL is. Now, what about another chemical called bisphenol A or BPA, which is used in the production of polycarbonate plastics and epoxy resins? Polycarbonate plastics are often used for products such as water bottles, food containers, and other consumer goods, while epoxy resins are used as coatings for the inside of metal food cans and other food packaging. BPA can mimic the hormone estrogen in the body and exposure to BPA has been linked to a number of health problems, including hormone disruption, developmental issues, and cancer. Studies have suggested that exposure to BPA may be particularly harmful to infants and young children as it can interfere with normal development. When you think about the estrogen receptors that we have in our body, both men and women, these hormone receptors are very promiscuous, if you will, meaning that there's lots of chemicals in the environment that can uh, mimic the effects of estrogen. They're very similarly in their molecular structure. And when any of these chemicals that are very similar to estrogen act on these receptors, they exert the same effect as estrogen. Now, in recent years, there's been growing concern about the potential health effects of BPA, and many manufacturers have started to produce products that don't contain BPA. However, it's still used in the production of some products, and it's important to handle these products carefully in order to minimize the risk of any potential exposure. For example, it's recommended to avoid leaving plastic products in direct sunlight or in high temperatures for extended periods of time, as this can cause BPA to leach into the food or into the water. And that's why it's not a good idea to microwave plastic Tupperware. According to the FDA, the amount of BPA that can leach from polycarbonate plastic bottles into the water is very low. In fact, the FDA has set a limit of five parts per billion for BPA in bottled water, which is well below the level that is considered to be harmful to human health. The FDA also regulates the use of BPA in food contact materials, including water bottles, and has set strict guidelines for its use. Phthalates are commonly used in the production of vinyl products, such as shower curtains, flooring, and upholstery. Phthalates can also be found in some plastic water bottles, particularly those made from polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. The amount of phthalates that can leach from plastic water bottles into the water depends on several factors, including the type of plastic used, the age of the bottle, and the temperature. The EPA has set a maximum contaminate level for phthalates in drinking water of 0.006 milligrams per liter, or six parts per billion. It's worth noting that many manufacturers of plastic water bottles have moved away from using PVC in favor of the other types of plastic that are considered to be safer, like I mentioned PET or PP. 
However, it's always a good idea to check the label of a plastic water bottle to see what type of plastic it's made from and to handle the bottle with care to minimize the potential risk of exposure to harmful chemicals. Now, PET is generally considered to be safe for use in food and beverage containers, and that's why it's widely used in making plastic water bottles. Now, the FDA has determined that PET is safe for use in food contact applications and has set strict guidelines for its use. The FDA has also set limits on the amount of certain chemicals, such as antimony, that can be present in PET bottles. Polycarbonate, or PC, is a type of plastic that's been used in the production of plastic water bottles as well. It's also used in other products such as food containers, medical devices, and even electronic equipment. However, concerns about the potential health effects of BPA, a chemical that's used in the production of polycarbonate plastic, have led many manufacturers to move away from using PC in these food and beverage containers. This is because BPA can leach from the polycarbonate plastic into the contents of the container, particularly when the container is heated or exposed to acidic or alkaline substances. So in general, it's best to avoid plastics as best as possible. And if you're handling plastic material, remember that it's important to handle them with care in order to minimize the potential risks of these chemicals. So you're gonna to wanna to avoid leaving plastic bottles in direct sunlight or in high temperatures for extended periods of time, as this can cause chemicals to leach into that water. Now, this video was mostly focused on chemicals that are considered to be the biggest culprit chemicals found in plastic water bottles. But there are many other chemicals that we're exposed to every day in our environment that put us at increased risk of cancer in general, as well as other diseases. So you can go ahead and check out this video right here if you wanna learn more about those chemicals.